Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to a wonderful Saturday morning. It's beautiful and sunny. It's actually not morning. It's just gone midday. I've just stopped off at Starbucks. You know my usual. But today I got a green tea matcha frap. It's just nice for a change and I just feel like something different today. So anyway guys, I just wanted to come in and give you a life update really because it's been pretty hectic the last couple of weeks and um, a lot's gone on since we last spoke and um, you know I, I want to be quite real with you guys and um, something um, pretty traumatic has happened within our family unit so our family has been in my home my household um, last week and I have completely pushed WW to the side, obviously, because that's not my focus right now. My focus is helping someone in my family, and that is the most important thing to me right now. And I haven't been vlogging or anything because, to be honest with you, I just kind of gave up and didn't care about anything. It's just been a really stressful stressful time and very traumatic and um, I'm not going to go into details of what's happening but just know I'm trying to work through some stuff and um, yeah it's, it's been it's been really really hard and I didn't really know whether if I should make this video or not but I just wanted you guys to know that I'm still here um, I'm not WW friendly right now and you know a, apart from trying to deal with something else my eating has been rubbish it has been really bad I when I deal with stress I'm you know I can handle a fair bit of stress but this level of stress was just something I've never really experienced before in my life and um, I got to the point where I would, I wasn't eating because I felt so physically sick with stress and worry I couldn't eat and then all of a sudden I'm in the kitchen stuffing my face. I thought my bad eating habits and my eating disorder was locked away I thought I had it under control but clearly I don't my binge eating has reared its ugly head and it is back and it's it's not good um, over the last week I don't even imagine how much shit I've eaten and um, I dare say I've put on a lot of weight and have I weighed myself? No, I haven't. I don't, I'm, I've, I'm, I don't care. To be honest, I just don't care. Um, I do care. I didn't care is what I should probably say. You know, um, we've had the last three days have been really positive and good. We're making progress and we are healing trying to and um, trying to make things better but um, and that's kind of changed my mindset a little bit about myself as well because I think if I don't look after myself I can't look after somebody else who needs me so I need to start looking after myself as well which kind of feels selfish to do but I know I have to do it I know that sounds really weird my headspace is probably not coming off as I'm you know I'm not articulating what I'm trying to say probably but I have to look after myself to look after my family and that's what I'm focusing on not solely obviously but I am getting back into doing that. If that makes any sense whatsoever, probably not. I don't even know if it makes sense in my own head. But 
you know, I, I was thinking about it yesterday and I'm really disappointed in myself for how I've let my binge eating take over my life again. Um, at the time I was doing it, I really... Was I aware? I don't even know. I can't even tell you that, to be honest with you. I can't give you an honest answer whether I knew I was doing it or not. I really don't think I did until, you know, I had a little light bulb moment. I was thinking, what the hell am I doing? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I am trying to not do that anymore, and I'm conscious of it now so I am stopping whatever pattern I was getting into because it was it was not good obviously um, we're just all trying to heal and get past this thing I'm sorry I'm not gonna go into details I just I can't I don't want to um, no uh, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm here, I'm struggling big time and um, we're dealing with some stuff which we're going to get through, I know we are, but it's really important that you guys realise if somebody reaches out to you um, and if they need help, don't just say okay that know what can I do for you and then leave it don't do that if somebody reaches out to you follow up the next day and the day after and the day after that because I tell you everybody is going through something at this time this COVID thing is just absolutely rubbish you know so many people I have spoken to are going through something you know whether the kids are fighting the husbands and the wives are fighting you've lost your job, you're just not dealing with self-isolation because so many people are living alone and I couldn't even imagine how just awful that would be. Not having anyone to talk to would be just awful. So, you know, please, if anybody, and I mean anybody, wants anyone to talk to, any help whatsoever, please make sure you reach out to me. I'm more than happy to jump online and have a chat. Look, doesn't matter where we live because... You could live here in Australia or bloody Timbuktu. We can jump online because we have to because I can't just pop over and see you anyway because we're not allowed. So it doesn't matter where you live, message me and let's have a chat if you want to. You know, you can look me up on Facebook. My Facebook name is Davina Harris. Um, go into private messenger, friend me, send me a message. I'm more than happy to have a chat to you, okay? Um, or on my Instagram page, go to Skinny Jeans for Lifetime and um, private message me through there. Whatever you want to do, if you need help, please reach out to me because I will definitely follow up with you for sure. I just wanted to thank you guys for all the love and support you always send me and, you know, I'm sorry I haven't been here the last week, but I just couldn't. I could not have made a video even if I tried. Um, I have been tagged a couple of times by D from Dish with D. You know what? Her tags she's sending me right now are like my lifeline. She probably doesn't even know it, but her tags is something that ugh, it's just like keeping me going. I know that sounds the most stupidest thing, but I don't think she realizes how important those tags are to me. And I'm behind. I've got two to film and I am going to do that today because I'm in the right headspace. I can film these. I'm going to. I want to. So I'm going to get some tags out today. I'm really happy about that. And I bought a couple items online. So you know what? I think I'm going to do a bit of a fun video about the things that I've ordered and why not? Because I feel like it and it makes me happy. So how are you guys going with this isolation? Is everybody okay? Um, are you doing your Zoom meetings? I'd be really interested to see what you guys think of your Zoom meetings. I've had some mixed messages really from people. Some love, some hate. I don't know. I'm really disappointed I missed my one this morning, but I had to head out to the um, cake supply shop. So let me know how you're going. I want to know. Are you still weighing in? Um, how's the at-home eating going? Because trust me, I know how that is. Um, 
Yeah, but it's been a it's been a big month so far, and we're only on day eighteen of April. It's been one of the most trying months of my life, I tell you. So last week on the tenth, we had my birthday. That was a great day until about midnight, and then um, my son's birthday turn he turned sixteen last Wednesday. We had a great day there. Uh, I made him a cake. I'll actually pop it in here for you. My daughter made me a really lovely llama cake. So I'll pop this in here too. She she did such a good job for her first cake. It was delicious as well. And on Tuesday coming is my other son's birthday. He'll be turning 22. So I'm going to make him a toilet roll cake. One of my friends tagged me in this picture on Facebook about this toilet roll cake for this whole COVID-19 thing. And I thought it was hilarious. So we're actually going to make that cake um, I've got some embossing uh, a mold at home which I'm going to be able to get the embossing around the toilet paper roll so I think it'll be really fun for me to make and I just love baking and it takes my mind off everything so I'm really looking forward to that I think I'm going to make one with I got some little eyes at the cake shop and they're like just eyes that I can put on one of the um, toilet rolls and I'm going to put a, like a mask on it I don't know something fun just trying to make light of this situation but anyway uh, we've just been playing lots of board games and I think that's great for everybody because it builds up a bit of family morale and everybody has a bit of a laugh and I love playing board games I actually borrowed this one from Libby we normally play Monopoly and Cluedo and what else oh, we've got a Game of Thrones board game that's really good it takes forever it's like four hours but it's really cool we play cards we play lots of board games I just love it and this one here it's called what do you meme this is the Aussie edition so if you don't know what a meme is all it is is it's a photo and then you have to put a little caption by it so I'm really excited to try this one I think it's going to be really fun also um to keep myself occupied I like those um you know those adult coloring in books that you can get they're really fun anyway I've downloaded an app which is um, it's really fun and you just do it on your iPhone or any Android device iPad computer whatever and it's an app and you just like touch the colors some of them are really intricate and quite difficult but um, I love that so I'll add the little I'll put a picture on here of what the app looks like so if anybody who wants to download it and give it a go I'll tell you what it's saved me so many times when I'm just not feeling feeling it and I just jump on there and have a play around it's actually really fun I think it's really cool so if anybody's interested click on it and have a look um, so that is it guys thank you so much for checking out my channel and I love you all thank you so much and I'm gonna be coming back real soon and it'll be WW orientated I just um, yeah, I just need to get back into the right mindset and I will. I know everything's going to be okay and everything that's going on right now is going to um, sort itself out. We've got a lot of um, building to do to get our situation back on track, but I've got to stay positive and I know everything's going to be okay. And don't forget guys, if you're struggling, look me up. I'm more than happy to have a chat. I'm going to put on the screen here where you can find me because I know it's not easy right now and nobody needs to be feeling like they're alone because you're not okay so anyway let me know how you're going with your weigh-ins below is anyone getting any exercise in I got some good exercise last night I completely gave my house a spring clean even though we're not in spring um, top to bottom my house is sparkling and you know what it made me feel so much better got me out of my little rut if you will and I feel great having a clean house who doesn't love a clean house but anyway I must get into the supermarket because everybody looking past uh, walking past me is looking at me like I'm a crazy lady talking to myself but I don't care I'm going to grab some hamburger buns and I think I'll make some seared burgers and salad for lunch but I better hurry up and take them home because everybody at home is probably starving Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you all again real soon. Stay safe, wash your hands, stay inside, and...
talk to you soon.